we start today's event, of course, with a very hearty welcome to Dr. Father. But first, focus on the small clip that will introduce those of you who are not familiar to small millets to this wonderful ancient grains. I was completely bedridden uh, with first shot of Moderna. Um, and also they did another medical mistake. They gave me antibiotics thinking I have H. pylori. I mean, they were giving a lot of medication. Nothing was helping. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I mean, I was eating eight meals a day, eight meals, literally eight full meals a day <laughs> because my body was producing that much of um, acids. I lost weight completely. I was a skinny set with skeleton. Um, and then I started let's. I have been on millets for 13 months now. Uh, within three days, I could see the difference. Yes. Actually, um, my for my mom, it's like a miracle. For me, it took a long time, six months to recover. But my mom, uh, I think it was somewhere in September or October, she got hospitalized with an infection in her lungs. Mm -hmm. And they put her on severe antibiotics. First, they thought it was COVID, so it was not COVID. And she came home. She couldn't even walk. I think within two weeks, she she's normal. My aunt says, oh, my God, your mom became so active. She keeps on walking. She keeps on doing things. Now I don't have any fear. Oh, will I get, I mean, if, in my teams, every week, one person goes on leave saying he got this cancer, she got that cancer type of Now I'm like, Oh, okay, at least I have hope I'm eating. So hopefully 99.9999% I'll be. I have overcome a lot of my different problems, issues, health issues. I feel very energetic now. And I also lost about 15 pounds of weight. Started in, so it's about almost 25 years back. I mean, you know, like you're talking about 1996. When I was first detected with an underactive thyroid, okay. which means, I mean, I was told that for the rest of my life, I'll have to take medication. I, uh, of course, you know, um, used to read up on how we can go medicine free, but I didn't know what path to follow. The one fortunate thing that happened was, I mean, Dr. Khadar Wali came to the US. I was convinced that what he's saying makes perfect sense and I'm ready to start this. The key thing that was, you know, started it was going with Dr. Khadar's protocol in terms of the millets. And so I followed that religiously. In September 2020, I just and I said, okay, that's it. I'm not taking any medication. But I was confident at that yes. point that things are working well. Uh, when my daughter Monica was pregnant with her second child, she was diagnosed with uh, gestational diabetes. And um, we had to make some drastic changes for her so that uh, she doesn't have to start taking insulin. The first week... Uh, we struggled with her normal diet uh, in terms of whatever she was eating, trying to manage her carbs and her numbers and pricking. And she had to take her um, blood every every day, three, four times in a day to figure out after every meal what her blood sugar is. This was too painful for me to see. Uh, thanks to Dr. Khadar Wali, uh, my daughter's blood sugar was not out of control through the whole pregnancy. very personal, real stories, and this is just a tip of the iceberg. Dr. Khadr is present here. He has lakhs, lakhs and lakhs of cases of people from worse conditions that we have just heard about, all recovered successfully. And most of these people have not even met him. He, they are just, they have a hold of this PDF, the brilliant protocols that he's sharing for free worldwide. And people are just looking at those protocols and matching their conditions and following it religiously. And those who are, are recovering. Today, they are disease-free, medicine-free. And I am so blessed. We all should be blessed that we have Dr. Khadar Wadi himself with, in the, amidst us. So Dr. Khadar, please. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Um, to honor you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My sincere request to all of you 
this is not magic. This is not magic. I uh, actually don't like the word magic. Anywhere, anytime on this planet, this can be repeated. I keep telling many of my followers uh, expressing there's magic, it's magic. No, this is not magic. Magic is something a godly person comes and touches someone and then he becomes all right. And that happens once in a while. There is no science to it. And I keep refusing to use the word magic. This is not magic. This is perfect science. It is that there are a lot of parameters to be healthy and God's grace that we have everything packaged in what are called millets and there are small millets. There are so many parameters to make a person healthy and all of them are incorporated in this small wonders. You can use the word wonder, you can wonder about it, but it is perfect science. So, uh, first thing I want to, yeah, people make a big thing about these issues because there is a person yeah, in Hyderabad, just three weeks back I had a session. There was a lady, had cancer, breast cancer, she had chemo, radio, and then they'd driven it into her uh, brain. Then she has so-called metastasis of the breast cancer going into the brain, and then they did again the rounds of chemo, radio, and lo and behold, she had lung cancer. While doing this journey, she picked up IBS, and then IBS evolved into Crohn's. Then they had host of the steroids and things pumped in along with radio chemo. And within three more weeks, she was not able to see. Her eyesight was dimming and not able to see and almost became blind. So they don't know what to do. It's, it's not cancer, it is this, it is that. And she had a list of medicines gobbling up every day time the nurse comes and pops the things and then she had injection and every two days she had to go through MRI, PET scan, this scan, that scan. Absolute misery. Absolute misery. And then some of her uh, friend's daughter said, hey, why the hell are you doing all this? You better leave her alone, she will die. This kind of situation. And then the same girl, friend, some cousins in a lot of uh, relationship. Then the cousin's friend said, why don't you give her ambali? Because by then she was not able to even eat things. So she made a brown top millet ambali and gave her to drink. And she said she cannot even swallow properly and made thinner version of the ambali, add a little more warm water and then the, then she started sipping and she was not able to eat anything else. Then the doctor said they'll put a tube and then have some protein shake. Then she refused, I'm going to die, it's enough, enough, is, enough is enough. And she was an ambali. Three days, she started recovering. Now it's been 18 months, she's doing everything and the doctors are again, as uh, one of the participants said, surprised that she doesn't have any cancer condition left in her body. No ideas, no diabetes, everything completely disappeared. Completely disappeared. And my daughter was doing a three-day course in Hyderabad. She came to attend. I think she is from north somewhere, I have no idea. Um, this is just one case. We have lakhs of people uh, reporting these kinds of... And the reason why people say it's magic is that there is no hope. There is no one to help. All the things exhausted. And then they take Ambali and they become all right. And that's why they say it's magic. But 
it's not magic. So there's perfect science behind all this because the toxic morbid waste that we accumulate on a regular sense, even if you are eating the best of the best foods on this planet, including the millets, if the carbon dioxide that you make in your living cells on a daily basis, when you breathe in, oxygen content is more in your air, and when you breathe out, carbon dioxide content is more in the breathing out air. What does that indicate? That you have produced carbon dioxide by burning glucose in each and every cell, and it is accumulated and passing through the lungs out of your body. And if that carbon dioxide doesn't go out of your body, you will die, actually. And that's one of the most favorite suicidal uh, tools in America. You go and start your car in the garage and sleep there, you are dead in the morning. A very comfortable, easy way of dying. Uh, so, the carbon dioxide is actually the product, byproduct of our burning glucose and making energy through ATP. The mitochondria makes the battery ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and you break the bond to do, to move your finger, to move your eyelid, to move your lungs, to expel the carbon dioxide. Everything needs energy. So, when this wonderful process of living, to make energy out of burning glucose and then further getting the ATP done in your mitochondrial uh, area, you need understand that there is a toxic morbid waste that is generated. So there are zillions of biochemical reactions in our body generating toxic morbid waste at various levels, be it a solid material, be it a liquid material, be it a gaseous material. And in fact, we excrete four different ways from our body. They are all, you go to shit, you go to urinate, you sweat and you sleep. When you sleep, you are throwing it out as carbon dioxide. When you are sweating, there are a lot of extraneous salts and various toxic materials coming out of the sweat. So, people are all happily not sweating because they like to be in AC rooms and you, know, you just go into the sun, you sweat for some time, it's good for you. But we are all taught, oh, don't sweat, don't work, no work, no, it's all. Be comfortable is being in AC and not sweating. So many diseases are actually accumulating in people by just not sweating. Not sweating is a bad thing for you. But here we are, we have made it so comfortable for everyone that no one sweats actually. Not even one minute people are sweating through their almost months of life. So it's important everyone sweats at least half an hour for a day, minimum. So please go for long walks and you sweat, you are going to eliminate. And the sad thing is that you can say, I have been shitting very well, I have been urinating very well. But the toxic material waste that go out of the sweat is not going to go out of urine, going out of the stomach. Because it is different. It is different. So this toxic morbid waste elimination has to happen the way it is designed to be. There is nothing you can do about it. So all these four excreta has to happen on a regular, intended, designed way. If that doesn't happen, one day or the other you are going to get some disease or the other. So that's the first thing you want to make sure that your excreta, all four things are happening properly. And if that doesn't happen, even if you eat the best food, the millets, you are not going to be alright. So, excreting the real toxic morbid waste that is going to accumulate. What I am trying to communicate is that you eating non-organic food, the whole Americans, 99% of the Americans are eating. Uh, I'll come to it later. Um, that even if all of you eat organic food, you are going to have diseases. That's because your excreting systems have to be perfectly functioning. So, even if you eat millets, there is something more that you need to do, that is to see your excreta 
is working functionally properly on a daily basis on a daily basis so this is being said and that's why i said this is not magic this is not magic and how do millets help you to get rid of these kinds of excrete and that's all health is very simple eat right do things certain things your health is guaranteed guaranteed to every living being on this planet human being absolutely guaranteed there are no insurance companies this and that no one can guarantee you anything it is you who can guarantee health for yourself no one else now all these organizations the establishments that we have been building all around the world in the name of health are all peripheral because they do not know guarantee it is that they guarantee the money but they are not guaranteeing your health they are not guaranteeing your well being so if you fall sick if it happens that you spend some money then you get reimbursement or something on various parameters and that's not insurance you people should understand this that's not insurance the insurance is what you can give to yourself that i am going to be healthy and that is what i'm talking about because the insurance companies are dictating the whole world in the name of health in the name of assuring you something and absolutely they are not assuring you anything but we are all in this and uh, in put it in indian language you are in a maya you think that's what it is the absolute maya the reality is elsewhere the reality is something else the reality is something else. let's stop here to absorb some learnings small millets are not magic they reverse health conditions scientifically even metastasis of cancer zillions of biochemical reactions create morbid waste in our body the morbid waste must be eliminated daily we are stool sweat urine and breath health is very simple but only we ourselves can guarantee it let's check out next the science behind the magic of small millets mm-hmm.